All right, this is from my vacation in Minnesota with Nancy. Uh, we had stayed at this beautiful farm, and um, it had buildings all over the place, and it, this one tree in the picture really intrigued me. It was a big, sturdy oak, and it, and it looked like it had weathered many, many a storm, and I was so intrigued with it, I painted it a number of times, and um, I just loved the farm. It, it had a freedom about it. You could go for miles. And they even had heavy brush and timber in one area where they had deer living in there. And it was really getting back to nature and I thoroughly enjoyed my trip. And uh, it's just one of the pictures I made of the, the trip. But um, being an artist, you see something beautiful no matter where you are. And it catches you unaware sometimes. But if you get a good camera to catch the picture with your own scent. Well, this is another picture from uh, the farm in Minnesota. And I have an old apple tree. I think most people would give up on it by the time it got that old. But evidently, they were able to pick some bushel baskets of apples. And um, nowadays, when they grow apple trees, they keep them trimmed and stunted so that it's easier to pick the fruit. But this was meandering all over the place. And um, I found that the red barns were were kind of reminiscent for me because I was brought up in Michigan and I always loved the red barns and the beautiful autumn conditions so you'd have the leaves turning and everything so rosy and a glow to everything it was a precious time of the year as far as I was concerned and um, I intend to do more work on this painting it's, I'm not completely satisfied with it yet but uh, that's the way it goes. Well, this is a picture of my dear husband, Tom. And when I finished the painting, he said, it's the ugliest thing I ever saw. But of course, I think he was quoting what President Johnson said when uh, his wife had a, a famous portrait artist do his portrait. And that was his remark to her. But... Um, Nevertheless, I'm glad I made this painting of Tom because um, Linda and Fun had bought this hat and she brought it home to him and he put it on so while we were taking pictures. And I'm glad I took this picture because to me it just showed his warmth of his personality and um, it wasn't much longer after that, maybe a year or so, that he died. And I was so glad I still had this painting up in my front room and it's heartwarming to see it. It's like he can almost speak to me. And uh, what more can I say? We loved him dearly and all his daughters and the son-in-laws and everybody. We all miss him terribly, but it's kind of nice. All right, this is really something to see. This is a painting I made when I was still a kid in high school. And I saw this beautiful painting and this is just a part of it, but I narrowed down to this one little girl at the drinking fountain. And since then, I've loved it. I've never departed from it. I've kept it in my house. And um, I, in fact, I made a copy of it for my dear friend Janice because she loved it. She said every time she came to the house, she'd see that painting as she was leaving. And um, I went for a long time without painting because we raised a big family of nine daughters and I couldn't get my paints out because the kids were always into them. But um, I have painted it again since then. And it always seems to have a certain charm to it. I always loved it. But it's a reproduction. I can't take credit for the subject matter. It's a copy. Plain and honest, I'm telling you. But I, I really love it. Well, this is the San Luis Rey Mission in Oceanside. And our art class goes there every year when we're out on our uh, painting expeditions. And I've painted this from every angle and every shape. And this is one little one I did. I've, since then, I did a big one. And I gave it to the mission so that they could raffle it off and earn money for the restoration of the building. And um, it has a certain charm to it. It's done in a hurry, but I think it catches the, the beauty of the place. And... Um, I love going back there. The grounds are beautiful, and we set up our art supplies, and we paint till we're, we're just 
all painted out. It's just a charming place to be, and it's so spiritual. It just not nothing can be said that can really tell you how I feel about it. Well, this little girl needs to be introduced. She's Katie Nicole, and she is my great-granddaughter, and a charming little miss she is. And I've been painting her quite a bit, too. And I was so thrilled at her birth. And so, of course, I had my camera, and I was taking many pictures of her. But this one seemed to catch a certain spontaneous joy from her. And I, I did it in watercolor. And uh, she was propped up on a pillow and just enjoying a good belly laugh for some reason. So I enjoyed doing it. And I think it's one of my more successful paintings just because of the beautiful subject matter. And uh, it really thrills me still to see it. I hope it uh, gets to you too. Well, this little charming miss is our youngest daughter. And uh, Tom and I were so thrilled with her. She was a good little girl all her life. She's very sweet. And her name is Eileen. Well, it's her little daughter that I've been painting, too, little Nicole. So, uh, it, the beauty kind of runs in the family, I think. Eileen was our little towhead. She couldn't understand why people called her a towhead, thinking it meant the toes on her feet. But she didn't know what towhead meant bleach a very blonde platinum blonde baby and uh, her older sisters used to say mom don't ever lose her in the white sheets because you'll never find her because <laughs> she was so clear and pale skinned I guess I ran out of pigments by the time I had her <laughs> well this is Mr. Kevin and um, he's a charming little boy this is when he was quite young and he was at the house when Tom was trying on his big super size hat. So we, we painted um, his picture as a companion picture to Tom's. And they're both with kind of like a barn setting behind them, like they were going to ride horses. And he has a, um, a star, a sheriff's badge. I guess you noticed that. So that makes him quite an important man. And um, I enjoyed doing this picture very much. And I've done his picture since then, as he grows up. He's quite a young man now. And uh, he always loved his grandpa. He called him Papa. And he still has a great affection for him. He remembers him, which is a kind, good thing to do. So he couldn't have a better role model, I guess, than his good grandpa. All right, this is an ocean scene painted at Dana Point. Actually, the painting isn't finished, but Steve wanted to take a picture of it, and it was in the sunset. It was The rocks were catching the beautiful sunlight, and the surf was bursting on the rocks, and it was quite invigorating to watch it. So there again, I took some pictures, and um, I don't know what I do without a camera, because these things are so fleeting. The waves will crash, and then that's the end of it. But if you can catch it on a film then you've got some idea how to contain it and um, it was um, at Dana Point in California on the rocky coast and it was a beautiful beautiful warm summer evening and um, I love doing ocean scenes too there's something very invigorating about them I will finish it one of these days too <laughs> I promise okay this is um, from Cardiff Beach in California, and uh, I found it very intriguing. Evidently, there'd been a high tide, and when it went out to sea, it left pools of water, and it reflected the palm trees and some of the other things, and I was quite intrigued with it. So, uh, after I had the photographs for a while, I got them out, and I, I decided to make it like this, and um, I enjoyed doing it very much, and that building on top of the <laughs> cliff is an outhouse of all things, but it was kind of unique in the shape, so I, I put it in and big as life, and then there's a lifeguard, lifeguard station down below, and then this lady and her daughter or whatever 
were having a little picnic lunch and the birds wanted to join them. So all in all, it's quite an interesting story it tells, I think. <laughs>